So let's look at actual cases here. So we're going to go over a bunch of cases. So Nell Cropsey. Nell Cropsey was 19 years old at the time of her disappearance, November 21st, 1901. She was referred to as Beautiful Nell, having a chestnut hair and dark blue eyes. She lived with her family in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and had planned to visit family before Thanksgiving. She never arrived, and her boyfriend, Jim Wilcox, was the last one to see her. According to Jim, he went to see Nell and broke up with her on that night. However, Nell's brother and father insisted that she did not return. Nell's sister had seen Nell out on the porch at 11 p.m., but did not see her return inside the house. She presumed that she went inside quietly. However, later, Nell's family was distraught when they found out she was not at home. They went to Jim's house thinking that maybe the two had eloped. I guess back in 1901, that was a common thing. Anytime uh, a teenage girl doesn't come home, she might have eloped. But Jim said that he had broken up with Nell and that he thought she had returned inside her house after leaving her on the porch. During Jim's interrogation, his story was a different version, and he was arrested, but was later freed. A psychic named Snell Newman had sent word. You know what's weird? The psychic's name is Snell, and the girl's name is Nell. I mean... <laughs> Ah, see, the, these kinds of coincidences, I find them a little weird. Most people, especially coincidence theorists, would just immediately write them off. But th is this some kind, is this some kind of synchronicity that defies common understanding? Either way, continuing on here, a psychic named Snell Newman had sent word that Jim had killed Nell. On December 6th, the psychic came to Nell's residence and identified the last few hours of Nell. According to the spiritualist, Jim had used chloroform to wrap Nell in a blanket and had driven her out in the country to kill her and then threw her down a well. When the well was inspected, no body was found, but two days after Christmas, the body of Nell was floating in the river. The body had bruises on the forehead that indicated foul play. Jim was arrested, tried, and had received 15 years of imprisonment. That doesn't seem right. Huh. So the psychic... Was the psychic wrong? So this is 1901, so I'm guessing there was no toxicology report, whether there was chloroform or not. And that's interesting, too. I mean, this is 1901 before people had, I mean, I guess you would still guess that the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, husband, or whatever, a lot of times they would be the killer, even you wouldn't necessarily have FBI statistics to back that up in 1901. But interesting case.